My name is Laura Krifka. We are at my house and studio in Ventura, California. I make paintings, sculptures, drawings, also stop animation videos, and I'm part of Rogue Wave for LA Louver this summer. So much of my paintings are about manifest destiny and American history. Um, and I like feeling connected to the land. Um, a lot of my work is inspired by nature. A lot of the ideas I get from my paintings is just walking around outside and seeing the way light hits a certain kind of plant or a flower, and that's exciting. And I have all these like dried plants everywhere. So typically when I get an idea for a painting, um, it gestates for a very long period of time, a few months, where I'm just trying out different ideas for color or light or what the costumes are, how many figures there are. For this show, the LA Louver Rogue Wave show, um, I was thinking a lot about predator versus prey. The first painting is called The Lurk and she's out in the wilderness. And then the idea is, you know, is she the one lurking and sneaking around or is she being lurked upon as someone hunting her down? the big painting, Pink Predator. I was thinking about being an artist and how predatory that feels. You paint a female nude with male figures and everyone talks about you know, the victimization of the female nude, that really objectified body. But I decided that I wanted to reverse it, so I did the clothed female figure who's passed out asleep and she's uh, surrounded actually by male nude figures that are pulling apart her legs. The, the biggest predator, the worst person in this equation is me. I'm, I'm the one that's revealing everything and for me there's just really dark implications about that kind of power. It's seductive but it's also scary and disturbing. You know, and I, I think that that's always kind of present in my work. And the other painting, Mother, is about being a woman. I'm 28, all my friends are starting to have babies. And it's a really frightening thing that you have this biological, you can actually physically feel it when you're around a baby. The other part of me that's just totally and completely terrified about, about having that baby. So I wanted to do a painting that played with those ideas. And then when I'm finally ready to commit to a painting, I will start just building a model. And then I'll build these figures out of this white soft clay. Um, it's very immediate. It's all about just the fastest way I can get to my end product. And I'll start putting together an environment. Uh, then I build all those together and I put them in my light box, my diorama box that I built. And then I have colored tissue paper that I set up behind it, uh, all different colors, and I'll just start playing and seeing what colors work. It's just really, it's one of the more fun parts of the process. And then when I get a setup that I like, I will get my camera out and take a bunch of shots. And then I'll play with it in Photoshop, then I'll usually take some more shots. Uh, and then I find what I like. And then I just start painting. And there's so many steps to me making the paintings that once I get to the actual painting part, it seems like it's mostly just about executing and making sure I'm pulling out the things I care about, like lighting or like what the air might feel like in that environment, like is it sticky and hot? Those are the things I'm thinking about as I'm starting to make the painting. It's, uh, there are transparent layers of paint, um, so it takes layer upon layer to be able to build up to the surface that I want. And hopefully at the end I like what I get. <laughs>